Hey Webflowers, today we will recreate this animation with Webflow and GSAP. I found this animation on Awards and um, belongs to an um, award winning design agency called Fixed Dodge Studio. Let's find out uh, how it works in Webflow. So first things first, I used a uh, kind first system from Swinsuite. It's based on this design system. At the beginning, I created a empty uh, black div uh, as a loader background and I pushed it minus uh, 100 uh, percent so it's just a blank uh, black um, div nothing special i set minus 100 percent y um, on the y axis just because we don't need this we will animate this with gsap yeah um, next thing is the um, header section, which is uh, 100 VH uh, uh, high, because we want to see all the thing in the header and links. I set a um, um, custom line height just be sure that uh, the lines are aligned well the nav wrap is just a flex uh, vertical div we have rows and uh, in the rows we have a uh, columns. In the columns we have text wraps with um, the first one is the logo wrap so it's a link block. The others just uh, just divs. So the text wrap has some style and um, it's relative. As you see yeah the second row in the header and in the first one we have an overflow hidden div uh, because of the text animation it's just uh, hide the overflow nothing special the second and the other columns contains the site links as uh, another list like so uh, we have a custom list uh, styles uh, as you see I set a minimum height um, just for lining perfectly with the line height of the texts here and of course they are overflow hidden because of the text animation yeah these are individual list items and uh, you will understand why <laughs> so we have lines uh, wrapper div I disable the pointer events the lines are individual divs with the height of one pixel and width with um, 100% and we have a black background color and it's not necessary <laughs> here yeah okay the second section the second section contains the the work images we have a um, container div 
which is a relative uh, 600 VH high div. It's the container div of the sticky element, the sticky div, and the first one will stick one RAM um, on the top. In this div we have um, project wraps, wrappers with uh, one row for the header and one container for the image. It's 100% width and height with a relative position and object fit cover. Okay, so the wrapper is uh, filled uh, the display and it's a uh, flex wrap. I set um, transform origin 100% left, 0% top. Okay, and um, hmm. work content div, just a flex div, nothing special, justify on the end. And there is a second one, I set the is to class because it have to stay lower when it's get fixed so i set two ram at the top and the third uh, project wrapper got the is three class and uh, and uh, the position sticky will be at the top with four ram and Fourth will be 6 RAM at the top, and the last one will be 8 RAM at the top. So it's I increased by 2 RAM every work wrapper. Our last element is an embed with some custom styles. We will have a text animation, as I said before, and we have uh, a text split JS which will break the, the subtitle into lines, this one. So we set the lines and, and the span elements to overflow hidden to get a nice um, platform for the text animations. Okay, that's it in the webflow and um, let's start to write some GSAP code. At this point I would like to show you what I make on Patreon. On my Patreon site I create videos like this and you will find the documentation of this animation too there. I created an ocean page with detailed information about uh, GSAP code, how to use Code Sandbox as a JavaScript file editor, and other descriptions about the GSAP code. So, if you are interested in this animation and other the flow and GSAP content, please visit my Patreon channel and subscribe for more content. Have a great day! Bye!